Hello, I'm Tori. This is Tori's Bookmarks, and I created this channel as a place where I can just dump all of my thoughts about books and book things. Um, I wanted a place to share different things like uh, book art or my home library and things like that, so I figured what better place to do that than this little channel. So this video is going to be about Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Um, I, if you've looked for this book at all, you know that it is hard to find right now. And I had ordered the book um, from Amazon and it was going to ship in like a month. So I was like, okay, that's fine. At the time, all of the reviews for the book had the specialty edition sprayed edges. When I got the notification that it shipped, uh, the photo of the book did not have the sprayed edges. And then I went to the reviews and over the last month I had waited for it. It looks like people had started noting that they weren't getting the sprayed edges. They were just getting the basic book and I was pretty disappointed. I honestly thought about sending it back until I realized that I wasn't going to find the sprayed edges anywhere. So I did decide to keep it, but I decided I'm just going to paint my own edges. So. Um, I used to draw and paint a lot uh, growing up. It's something I haven't done in a while. So we're going to see if I ruin this book or not after I waited <laughs> a month for it to arrive. But I've already taken off the dust jacket because I decided to make this video um, after I had prepped the book a little bit. So dust jacket is off and I have wrapped it. So. I will do a close-up of kind of how I wrapped this up um, to protect it as much as possible. So let me show you that. So the next part is you want to wrap your book. So you want to make sure that it is protect as protected as possible where you only have your edges exposed. So what I did is I took craft paper, or actually this is technically like shipping shipping paper, which you can use like cardstock, craft paper, things like that. And I basically just laid the book out flat like this and then cut out a piece large enough to extend all the way around the book both this way, this way, top and bottom. And then after I cut that piece of paper out, I cut the paper straight down towards the binding on each one of the corners. So you're going to have four cuts. Straight down straight down, same thing on the other side. So you end up with like a, you know, like a skinny flap here, the same width as the book, but then it allows you to fold these in. And you do want to make sure you're cutting as close as possible um, so that you can get this as covered as possible. So then after I did that, I folded in the tops and bottoms on both sides, and then I folded in the sides. And you can see I kind of accordion folded them to try to get it as tight as possible. I wanted the paper super, super tight so that I don't have any like bubbling or excess of paper along the edges as smooth as possible. So when you paint, you're not going to have any like empty spots where you didn't paint. Now I would say the hardest part of this was probably the little edges here. <laughs> so I just took tape and I went in, cut it to the size of the binding, and then just pushed it down. Now, I have a little bit of a gap there. Um, there's only so much you can do about it. It's hard to get it perfect. <laughs> but you just want to try your best to cover as much of it as possible. Um, Fourth Wing is a black book, so it gives you, it provides you a little bit more uh, leniency, I guess you would say, with paint a little bit. Um, but if you have a lighter book, you definitely want to be really, really careful about trying to get that as tight as possible. Now the next step is to sandwich your book with wood clamps. Now the sandwiching is super, super important. And the reason for that is you need those pages pressed together as tight as possible. You want this super, super, super tight. So that way you won't have any bleeding in the pages and things like that. So. One of the biggest things too is to protect the outside of your book is to not just use the wood clamps and clamp it together. I'm going to use wood to protect the outside of the book and then clamp it as tight as I possibly can. Okay, so here I have the book pressed down. Now I have seen some people do um, like weights stacked on top. 
um, and done it that way if you don't have, you know, clamps and stuff like that. But this is just how I did it. Now I am going to be spray painting, I don't have an airbrush machine, but I'm going to be spray painting it um, and then adding more details later. So I'm hoping I shouldn't have an issue too much with these on the corners. I should be able to get a paint in there without any problem. So fingers crossed. So I used the Cricut Explore Air 2 and then I just purchased some SVG PNG files off Etsy of dragons and they came as groupings but I just separated out the dragons I wanted to use so I could place them and size them individually and then I cut them out onto this which is the Cricut brand flexible stencil film this stuff is wonderful because it's thick enough where you can still like it well it holds its shape it doesn't get all you know like squished down like vinyl would but it's thin enough where it's still flexible and movable and you can you know shape it how you please so definitely recommend using this to cut out the little stencils so here are the dragon stencils that I made on my Cricut so now I'm going to attempt to stick them on to the book and we're gonna see how this goes I'm just going to be using this spray paint in satin black. It's my go-to for literally any and every project, so... Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so now the big thing is to just let this dry and then we'll remove the stencils and we'll see if it worked. Here's the hard part. You want to wait long enough for the paint to dry some but not completely dry because you're gonna to have to get your pages apart. So I took it out of the clamps. I'm so nervous. We're gonna see how this goes. I gotta get the little dragons off though. You guys, I think it worked. Okay, for starters, <laughs> it's even better than I thought it was going to come out, honestly. Okay, so then I saw that you're supposed to lay the book out flat and then kind of like, you have to be careful because you don't want to tear your pages.
Okay, so one thing I'm already noticing that I really like about spray paint is that it goes on super light, um, kind of like an airbrush would. So you're not going to have as much like thickness as you would with like actual paint and like a paintbrush where you're dealing with trying to break this up a lot. Some of the other people I saw do this had a hard time with this, but this is honestly super easy. So I think spray paint is definitely the way to go. I guess let's take the paper off. Okay, so overall, better than I imagined. This thing looks so good. You guys, honestly, that was a totally a doable project for a novice person. Like, that was not nearly as difficult as I thought it was going to be. And it came out so good. It makes me want to do this to every single one of my books now. And obviously, I mean, you need to get exactly what I did. You need some stuff, right? I still think wood clamps are going to be your best way to go in terms of keeping the book tight. Um, I think spray paint is going to be your best friend if you don't have an airbrush machine. And obviously, if you don't have a Cricut, um, then your, you know, your options might be a little bit more limited, but you could probably still do this with like stickers. So like if you got stickers and you put the stickers on there, um, there's definitely ways that you can, you can do it, you know, but I mean, seriously, you guys, like this thing looks amazing. And I'm really glad I gave this a shot because I was not going to spend 250 to $500 for one of the sprayed edges versions that somebody was trying to upsell on the internet. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments section. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one.